And welcome to CHS Lockdown Areas. This is your pre-boarding announcement for Flight 2020 LD to your dream destination. We are now inviting those passengers with small children and any passengers requiring special assistance to begin boarding this time. Please have your boarding pass and passport ready. Regular boarding will begin approximately 10 minutes. Thank you. So I'm uh, just packing my final bits, my playing cards, sunglasses, can't even without my sunglasses. Oh, just final bits, book. Chuck them all in, innit? Get them in. Beach towel, most important. Sunglasses, right, just uh, pick my hand luggage up. We're flying with Ryan here, hand luggage only. Got my uh, VIP pass for uh, Cardiff Airport. Got the passport, the boarding ticket. Come on then, come on Dan. We're off to Benidorm. Aloha. Well, I happened to be in Hawaii when lockdown happened. I was out here visiting my friend Stitch. So I'm stuck here in Hawaii. Hey ho, life's a beach. Hello everyone, I'm in Walt Disney World, no surprise there, and I'm about to go on Big Thunder Mountain, which is the wildest ride in the wilderness! Another day in lockdown, another day being stuck in this house in the rain. Are you fed up, look? I tell you what, let's go on holidays. Let's go to Australia, that's where I would love to go. Did you know that 90% of the Australian population live on the coast? Did you know, Loki, there's lots of things that we can do in Australia? You have Bondi Beach, the beautiful sands and sea. You've got the Great Barrier Reef, which is the world's largest ecosystem. You've got Sydney Opera House. How does that sound? Should we go? Should we go to Australia? Let's go! Okay then, ready for our holiday Loki. Suitcase. Summer dress. Sun cream. Flip-flops. Sun hat. Sunglasses. Tickets and not forgetting our passport. Let's go. Let's go to Australia. Woohoo! I think this is the best we're gonna do, Loki. If I close my eyes, I'd imagine that I'm you. Hope you're all keeping safe and well, guys, and think about a place where you would rather be rather than being stuck down in lockdown. Hi everyone, as usual I hope you're all safe and well and keeping active and keeping healthy in lockdown. Now the assembly today, Miss Evely and Miss Griffiths have asked me where would you rather be on holiday than in lockdown? It goes without a shadow of doubt I would rather be in any hard rock cafe in America. I absolutely love visiting America and I absolutely love hard rock cafe. But Lockdown has taught me to be the queen of compromise, I would say. So right now, I'm sitting in my hard rock t-shirt by the table. I'm enjoying myself a little hard rock mocktail, which is just orange juice and a bit of lemonade. Scrumptious. And I'm also listening to a hard rock album on TV. And later for dinner, we're having hard rock burgers. So not all bad. And hopefully we'll be visiting a hard rock very soon, my partner and I. Take care. Stay safe. ta -ra. Hello. If we could escape lockdown, where would I like to go? Somewhere far away. Somewhere warm with white sandy beaches. 
I wouldn't sit on the sand because I don't like it. It gets everywhere. So I'd be by the pool. Um, anywhere that would serve meals that I didn't have to cook myself or indeed didn't have to spray down with debt or with anything that came into the house. That'd be really nice. Um, also, someone to serve me drinks, just somewhere nice and quiet where you could hear the sea. Nice and warm would be absolute bliss. Hmm. Ah, thank you. Mm. Yeah. Can you fan me from two metres away, please? Thank you. Lovely. <sighs> Not quite what I wanted. Hello everybody, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the holiday I'd like to take. And uh, not too sure possibly it is, but actually it'd be a fascinating thing to do. You see, my holiday is not just about what's down here, but actually what's up in the sky. And what about taking a trip to Mars? That's what I'd like to do. Well, why Mars? Well, Mars is a fascinating planet and one day when I have a bit more time, I'm certainly going to spend a bit more time learning about our solar system. Uh, but Mars is a planet, they often call it the red planet. It's about half the size of Earth, but just like Earth, they have seasons there. They all last probably twice as long as our seasons do, but they have different climates and different weather throughout different parts of the year. Very, very windy place. Billions of years ago though, scientists believed that there was life there. Uh, there's certainly evidence to show that there were rivers and lakes there, and that's why it's such a fascinating place for people to keep studying. But at the moment, it's probably a very, very cold, barren, sort of deserty place to go. But as you know, I'm a geographer, geography teacher really, and the thing that I find fascinating about Mars is the fact that they have lots of things like valleys and mountains and volcanoes, just like we do on Earth. It's just that the scale of them is massive compared to what we have. If you take, for example, Val Marineris, which is just like our Grand Canyon, um, you've all seen pictures of that probably, but just imagine a Grand Canyon that's thousands of miles long, over four miles deep, hundreds of miles wide. Massive, massive feature. Be fantastic to see that. And also Olympus Mons, the biggest volcano in the solar system. We have Mount Everest as our mountain, but this volcano is three times the size of Mount Everest and over 200 miles wide at the bottom, further than from Pontypridd to London. Okay, a massive, massive feature. Fascinating thing to see. So, what's the chances of going there to see it? Well, if you've got a rocket handy and you can travel at 12,000 miles an hour, it'll probably take you five or six months to get there. So that'll take some doing. But when you get there, life is not gonna get much easier. Uh, unfortunately on Mars, it is probably about minus 60 degrees centigrade on average. There's very little water, there's no water at all to drink. And also, as I've just said, there isn't much oxygen there either to breathe. So. There's a few challenges if you wanted to get tourists to go to Mars, but who knows? People are going there, hopefully in the 2030s, that's the aim. And one day, not sure I'll get the chance, but who knows, you may one day get the chance to go to Mars and try and see what life on Mars is really like. Who knows? Enjoy your day. We'd like you to welcome you back to reality of lockdown, but the weather is not great, so you may need a jacket. We look forward to seeing you all soon for your dream holiday. Thank you and stay safe. Wow, what fantastic holiday destinations there are to think about and to dream about while being in lockdown. Some of them were even out of this world. Now, this has given me a great idea for a challenge for everybody in the school. Have, you may have noticed that in the sky there have been very few or no contrails. These are condens condensation trails left by planes. Now, your challenge is to see whether, as the lockdown restrictions decrease, these contrail lines increase in the sky. You could count the contrail lines at the same time of day every day for a period of time. You can then create a poster or project to show your findings. You can present it with a bar chart or a line graph. 
take photographs and even download an app to see where the planes are going and their destinations. You could then complete some further research on these places. Please send in all of your project and posters to myself at griffithsr at pontyhigh.co.uk. Some of them may even feature in an exciting project that I am going to be running in the next couple of months and I will give you more information on that in the coming weeks. Stay safe guys and remember, dream of those fantastic destinations that you'd rather be rather than being in lockdown. Bye.